If you have the standard version of SketchUp, not the Pro version, here's how you can export SketchUp models to DXF format readable by other software like CAM programs. You'll need a SketchUp plugin to do this. To find this plugin, just go to Google and type in convert SKP to DXF. Click the link that has guitarlist.com underneath the header. And you should see a web, web page that looks like this. You'll have two choices of files to download, one for the SketchUp version 6, 7, or 8, or the one for the SketchUp version 8 maintenance release 2 or later. I'm going to be using the second one, but if you want to uh, try installing the first one, you can have it has instructions on how to, how to install it here. Otherwise, um, the instructions for the second version is right here, and I'm going to run through that quickly on this, on this tutorial. So just press the right button on this file, on the second file, and save link as. I'm going to save mine to the desktop, just because it's an easy place to locate the file uh, for use when I'm trying to install it. You'll see that it has been saved. Now we want to start up SketchUp. In SketchUp, to install the, the plugin, go to Window, Preferences, Extensions, and Install Extension. A Windows Explorer dialog box will appear, and you'll need to find the file that we saved before. And I saved mine under Desktop, and SKP, which is SketchUp, to DXF. If you're okay with uh, this plugin accessing your, your computer's file system, go ahead and press Yes. Click on Yes. And now it's telling us that the extension has been successfully installed. Press OK. And press OK here. And you can find this plugin under Tools and Export to DXF or STL. Here's an example of how you'd use the, the Export tool the export to DXF or STL. I'm just going to draw a few things here. I'm going to draw like a rectangle and a circle in the rectangle. And I'm just going to remove this portion of the circle. And you can do this in multiple ways. You can select it so, or select just the geometry that you would want to use uh, or to convert. Uh, then go to Tools and click on the Export to DXF. Very simple. If you don't select it, then it'll ask you if you wanted to export the entire model. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that, say yes, and in my particular application I'm going to use inches, press OK, and now it gives you an example of or the different types of uh, geometry or primitives that you can you can export. I'm going to just do polylines for my general applications. This is where um, it makes more sense to, to generate machining operations uh, from these polylines. And you can also select um, lines. You can also select an STL if you want to do a three-dimensional model um, in a CAM program or whatever. I'm going to click on polylines and press OK. And then it'll give you a Windows Explorer dialog box to save it. And you can save it as a, some name that you think it would be meaningful. And then click on Save. And it'll tell you exactly what it, it was able to convert. Just press OK. And then let's go, let's take a look at it. I'm going to use um, Kanban, which is a, a program that I use to create machining operations um, from primitives. And I'm going to open the file. I mistakenly didn't put the D .dxf at the end of the file, so I just did that um, on my desktop. So I'll go ahead and show it to you again. Just make sure to type in the .dxf at the end of the file file name. It doesn't automatically put it in for you. So I'm going to open it to my desktop and you'll see rectangles and circle here. Double click that. And what you'll notice is you'll have a rectangle and you'll have a circle. Exactly the, what was in, in SketchUp. And if you look at it in, in various angles, you'll see that it didn't take any other geometry. It doesn't have a 3D mesh or anything like that. But you'll also notice something kind of interesting. And the circle is made up of a bunch of lines. And with the with this particular plugin, this is what happens. It'll come in as a polyline, but unfortunately, it will um, also machine this way as well. You could optionally, um, you know, create another circle. Uh, but um, if you're going to be using this plugin, uh, just understand that the circles will be made up of a bunch of lines rather than an actual circle. The Pro versions, uh, SketchUp Pro, will allow you to export to a DXF or even a DWG if you want it to be that way. Um, and it will maintain uh, the correct geometry. If this is a circle, then it will actually create a circle in, in Kanban. But there are other uh, uh, problems associated with that, and I'll get into that in another video.